Okay, let's get started. Ghosts are real. That much I know. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. So you can see from the title, today's video is going to be my full review with spoilers of Children of the Corn of 2020 or 2023, whatever you want to see it since the film was made and produced and everything on 2020 but three years later is that we are finally seeing it now there is probably a little bit of confusion with this film since it got a limited release in theaters back at the beginning of the month and then it was announced that on march 21 it was supposed to hit shutter right well apparently it didn't i was actually very confused to see that it wasn't included in this month releases that shutter put on their Instagram and Facebook account. I was like, wait, Children of the Corn is not there. And then I checked and I was like, well, maybe they forgot or maybe going to be announced later. But no, March 21 came and the film is available to stream on video on demand, but it's not available on Shudder. But when you watch it, since I saw it on Amazon Prime Video, it literally starts with the Shudder intro. And I I'm very confused. I don't know if they're going to eventually release it on the streaming service, but for now, I have no idea. So if you want to watch this, you're going to have to either rent it or buy it. Although I will suggest to you, if you have a Shutter subscription, you can wait and watch it when you don't need to pay more. Now, as always, all my reviews are with spoilers. If you don't want them just to see if this was worth it or not in the description box down below, then you're going to find my spoiler free review because I'll like to give you guys the two options. Saying all that and disclaimer, let's get into the video. Now, this film describes the events leading up to and including the massacre of the adults of a small town in Nebraska by the children after the adults irresponsibly ruins the crop and the children's future. Now, the film is one hour and 30 minutes luckily his short one and to give a brief summary of the story although you have seen all the remake or the original of children of the corn essentially you know what is going to happen and but essentially in this one what happens is that the adults decisions as a consequence they basically ruin the whole harvest of corn it's full of toxins because they eventually essentially damage the soil and of course that damage all the harvest and all the kids are furious because the council and all the adults decided that they're going to destroy the corn and that this little town will not longer harvest corn and the kids they are against it now this can look like a little bit of like a stretch or maybe thinking too much, but I kind of feel that the film, in a sense, is being a critique to the fact that sometimes children aren't taken seriously in decisions that can harm their future. But all the adults are deciding that they're going to basically get rid of all the harvest and they will not continue doing it and they will survive of other stuff and all the children are against it and when one of the girls start talking that she will be like the oldest one of the group everyone starts laughing and her father is actually the leader of the adults and everyone starts laughing and no one is taking them seriously so they are leave very angry and this combined with the fact that the beginning of the film is a scene of 15 kids being accidentally killed with gas by the adults this only fuels the rage of this kid so of course we have the leader that is going to be a little kid not the oldest one she's going to be against the massacre because of course at this point he who walks that is the entity that it's making the kids wanting to kill the adults is the one that is like telling them do it she is against of course but all the other kids they want to kill them and that is what we see after that reunion we see how they are starting to take out all the soil and basically destroying the whole cornfields and we see the kids like gathering together and then we have them with some weapons and essentially killing the adults now some of them are hanged others are killed with the same gas that the kids were killed at the beginning and the rest they are buried alive yeah they're buried alive and one of them is the actual pastor of the town he gets his eyes out by the girl she's very psychotic 
and it's probably only the good thing of this film but essentially that is what is going to happen we're going to be seeing the massacre there's not much gore i mean there's a little bit but not that much but of course the girl that actually she wants against she eventually sets everything on fire of course this kills he who walks and the girl that is the leader of the kids she's of course like no we have to do this but all the other kids like came back into their senses but the girl not so she decides to go back to the cornfield and she dies in the fire with he who walks that looks like Groot like the Marvel character but with corn instead of being a tree and the film essentially ends with all the cornfield being burned all the adults dead and the girl having a vision or maybe could be real because it's not 100% explained of the little girl completely burned telling her not everything dies in the corn and that's how the film ends <sighs> now things that i like it about this film going very quickly the acting of the girl i really like her i think that she was very psychotic like i said uh fits the part like she has to be like that and like the little attitude I really feel that she did a good job with what she could because that's only the only good thing about this film every single bad review that you have probably heard about it is true look i have no idea what happens with children of the corn because the original is not that good we can all say that that's not an unpopular opinion it's a fact the children of the corn from the 1980s is not a good film but compared to this one that's an 80s classic the remake i'm not even going to put it here since this one is like a remake but at the same time feels like a prequel but the first remake we don't even going to talk about that one but essentially every single film that has come out after the original is bad like they become worse and worse and worse so at this point the original is the only one that is good and that's saying a lot the cgi it's awful he who walks like i said he looks like the good version but with corn looks awful like seriously i don't know what the hell they were thinking the gore like i said is very little and I, for being a massacre i was expecting a little bit m more like seriously the makeup this that was okay like we have some scenes and some shots of that we have some faces we have some parts of their face and looks good like that part looks decent for the rest not so much now the story itself i don't know what happens when this story has so much potential and it gets wasted once again because i definitely feel that children of the corn as a short story it's very good and has so much potential but i don't know what the hell is happening here I'm very sorry for the people who did this film because i cannot imagine how how work it is i cannot imagine how much time they invested or money but unfortunately this is not a good horror film and it's very sad like i said because i do not like doing this i don't like like doing rants or in same like awful things about films i do not feel like that is right but i have to be also honest i cannot lie and honestly this film is not a good one so essentially the only thing that i like it was the girls acting but when it comes to the script the cinematography the score cgi the core, everything is not a good thing like it's all that against the acting of the girl so for me this film it's a one out of five or a 2 out of 10. So this is why I said if you have the Shudder subscription, wait, if you want to watch it, wait until it's on Shudder and don't rent it. Unless Curiosity Kills the Cat and you want to watch it. Like, this is not even the type of situation where a film is so bad that it's good. That doesn't even happen here. And that's even more sad because there are films that are bad. But they can be safe and they're kind of good. But in this case of Children of the Corn, this version and the franchise as a whole, uh -uh. like this should be buried and not touched again. Like seriously, Children of the Corn shouldn't return for another thing. Like seriously, remakes, reboot sequels, nothing. Because seriously, I don't know what happens, but this franchise has never been good. And sadly, probably will never be. But well... 
I hope that you guys have enjoyed this review. I know that it's not positive. I try always to look for the bright side of the things, but this time it was almost impossible. But let me know if you watched this one, what you thought. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Bye. That much I know.